Hi, welcome to jQuery mobile video tutorials. This is the first uh, video in which we'll be covering what is jQuery mobile and we'll go about writing a simple hello world app. So jQuery mobile is a touch optimized um, web framework for writing apps that run on the browser for smartphones, tablets, and desktop uh, browsers. It uses uh, HTML5 features. It's built on top of the famous uh, jQuery library and the jQuery UI framework. And it supports a wide variety of uh, browsers on different mobile devices. Before we go ahead, uh, we need some software in place. We need some text editor. We need a modern web browser. Uh, we need simulators to make sure that the code is working fine on the mobile device. And we need jQuery framework and we need the jQuery mobile framework. I'll be using TextMate and we'll be testing on our Chrome web browsers for the desktop platform. And I'll be testing on iOS simulator um, for the iPhone smartphone category. Uh, we specifically need uh, version 164 of jQuery framework. Uh, not the latest version of jQuery would not work fine with jQuery mobile. Uh, we will be working on the latest version of jQuery mobile though, which is version 101 at the time of this video. So let's go about um, finding where we can find uh, the jQuery library, the jQuery mobile library. So jQuery, you can download jQuery from jQuery.com. The latest version is 172, but we need uh, 164. So we'll go to the top download tab and uh, we'll download 164. There's two versions, minified and uncompressed. Let's download the uncompressed so that it's more legible. So that's downloading jQuery. I will put everything inside uh, a jQuery folder. So there's uh, jQuery 164. I also have the latest 172. Now let's get uh, jQuery mobile. Um, let's go ahead and download the latest version. There's a zip file um, that has the JavaScript, CSS, and images for this framework. We'll be using 101 version of jQuery mobile. I've put uh, the jQuery framework inside uh, the JQM local folder. The download for jQuery mobile would have more things. It would have demos and all the minified version. All we need is images and the first uh, CSS and the first JavaScript. So I've put it in a jQuery mobile folder here. So that's how you get the two frameworks, the jQuery 164 framework and the jQuery mobile 101 framework. So let's go ahead and start writing a Hello World app. So this is how it looks like. We'll go over each one of these uh, lines in detail. So the first line, uh, we use um, doc type HTML, which is HTML5. Older browsers would simply ignore it. So all jQuery mobile apps would require us to use the doc type HTML. And uh, we use UTF-8 char UTF character set. We'll be going over what this viewport meta tag is. So let's go ahead and include the jQuery library 164, jQuery mobile library 101, and the style sheet. So it's very important to have the jQuery included before the jQuery mobile because jQuery mobile depends on jQuery. So the way in which you include is very important. Um, let's include the style sheet first, jQuery second, and jQuery mobile the third. Viewport um, is used for scaling purposes. Most of the Websites are built 
uh, on browsers for the desktop experience. The mobile is new. What this allows us is uh, an ability to not um, to have a default scaling depending on the device width. So when you say um, meta name viewport content width equal device width, what it's saying is whatever the user's visible area is, that's the viewport, use the width as a device width and scale it to one. So I have uh, another version of the code with more comments, the same code with more comments. So it has more comments about what I'm describing here. And uh, it also talks about in detail about what viewport is and uh, the way in which we should be including um, the frameworks. So let's go over to the body section. So once we've included um, all the frameworks, we let's 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 uh, create a header, some content, and some footer page. So H jQuery Mobile uses HTML5 data attributes to to denote to the framework how to um, enhance the look and feel. So let's go and open this um, in a web browser and see how it looks. So this is how it looks in a web browser. Now let's remove the viewport. Still looks the same, right? Because it's a browser. Now let's open this in an iOS simulator. So I have my iOS simulator open here. Just gonna drag this. So as you see, most of the websites looks like this. It's hardly readable. You can't make out um, what this um, page looks like. But if you add back the viewport and hit refresh, you can see that it is scaled so that it's much more mobile friendly. The zooming is taken care of and uh, the width is also adjusted. So that's the significance of using the viewport. So if you see there's this custom CSS applied to my header, to my footer. That is all because of this data role attributes that we specified. So there are certain data roles like page, header, content, and footer that jQuery Mobile applies a default theme for them. And we get this uh, really awesome fonts, um, really scaled well, and we also get a consistent um, styling. So that's testing this on the browser and also testing it on the iOS simulator. So that's our Hello World app. And this is the output of how it should look like in a browser and how it should look like in a mobile device if you've done it correctly. So let's recap what we learned. We recap that um, we, uh, we need jQuery framework. We need um, jQuery mobile framework. We need to download them. And we need some kind of simulator to make sure that um, our app is working fine on mobile devices. We understood the importance of viewport meta tag as to how it allows us to have um, sites that are more mobile friendly and uh, the scaling is taken care of. We also verified an app on the simulator. Up next, if you have any questions, comments, there's this um, short link that you can follow. I'll be creating new videos and I'll be posting it to this um, link. And you could also follow all my other video tutorials uh, on my second link. If you liked it, um, send me feedback and I will uh, create more of these videos. Thanks. Happy coding.